Well, it's Saturday morning. I'm working on the squirrel damage. Get the air cleaner out of the way and all that stuff. I'm going to remove this because he chewed that up. Hopefully that's just a return vent for the fuel system because I don't see that there'd be any fuel coming out of there. And then I have to attack that and see if I can get that fixed. Well, I got the uh, harness disconnected from the junction block here. And it looks like the damage is isolated to just this one part of the harness. So I'm going to pull back all that uh, protective covering and we'll see what I have left. Okay. Out of 23 wires, he either chewed off or damaged 22 of them. That orange wire that's twisted is the only one that's not damaged. And while I was grabbing the camera, a chipmunk just ran under my car. Maybe it wasn't a squirrel. Maybe it was a chipmunk. I don't know. That fur I found sure looks like the tail of a squirrel. Well, we'll have to see. Well, I'm ready to repair my first wire. I've got my little clamp set up here holding my wire so I can solder it. I've already put my heat shrink down the piece of the wire and I'm using an old damaged uh, obsolete wiring harness out of a bobcat and I actually found some of the exact same colors purple with a white stripe so that will help. So that's my first wire and then I'll have 22 more to go. One wire done. I have it soldered. And I got the heat shrink on there. And now I'll move on to the next one. Well, hours later, I have most of the wires spliced back together, but I do have a dilemma. I have two wires that were cut off that are absolutely identical. Same color, same um, wire size, same wide uh, stripe is the same. And I have no idea which one goes where. And I got some more here that are damaged, the insulation. But I'm going to hook it all up and see if it works before I go any farther. Got the engine running. And here's the best thing of all. No codes. Originally I had um, about 20 codes and that uh, blue wire with the white stripe I had those actually um, crossed and the engine was run real fast so I switched those over and so far it seems to be okay. Um, However, I do have a, a yellow emission status, so I'm not sure what that is. I can't remember if that was on before or not. But um, I'm going to go for a ride and see what, uh, see what happens. Okay, I went through all my enhanced uh, features here. And now my yellow light went off, so uh, maybe it's got to equalize. I'm not really sure. And everything's spliced back together. It's just kind of hanging there. And I'm going to price a new harness and just see how much it is. Was it you? Or was it you? Well, look what I have here. He looks awful guilty. He looks extremely guilty. He's not happy being in there. You know, I'm not very happy that you ate my wiring harness either. 
if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you, I'm talking to you. Hey, get over here. You're on trial, sit still. What I have here is a juvenile delinquent squirrel. He loves the taste of Buick wiring. However, I don't have a DNA sample, so I'm not 100% sure this is the guy. So, he's avoided the death penalty, which he originally had, because I can't prove it was him. And he's going to go far, far away. He's not happy. And I'm not happy. I spent all day fixing wiring. I'm pretty sure it's you. You got a guilty look on your face. Okay, Mr. Squirrel. Your sentence has been reduced from the death penalty. So get. What a perfect spot. He can chew on all the wiring he wants over there. Or he can cross the road and chew on that wiring. Just so happens to be Bobcat competition.